Hey there and welcome to another tutorial flight with me Mark. Um, this time I will make a flight from Tromsø in Norway to Svalbard. Also in Norway but a lot of a lot more north. Um, as you can see here we will be using uh, the 737-800 with the SAS livery. Um, so why don't you join me in the cockpit and I will show you all the good stuff that the PMDG 737-800 NGX got to offer. See you in a bit. So welcome to the cockpit. As you can see as always the um, the cockpit is totally shut down. Um, I will be using FS2 Crew today as I always do. So first I'm gonna press the battery switch and then we can see the ground power is available. Okay, so, and um, the next thing I'm going to do is pr set the IRS to NAV. If you want to know what NAV is, NAV, uh, or uh, the IRS, the IRS is the um, easy explained um, the GPS uh, of the aircraft, so we know, so the aircraft knows where we are. Um, now we're just waiting for the screens to um, lit up. Unfortunately, there will be no uh, ATC on flying on that sim. So, but unfortunately, there will be no ATC. Um, you can see here um, on the FMC it says enter IRS position. I'm gonna do that. Press next page and then copy and then paste like so and the screen sh should lit up in just a few seconds. You can see uh, pretty nice AR port scenery for Tromsø. Okay, so now you can see the um, the screen has, has uh, lit up. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is to make um, FS2 crew to make him do his thing. So here we have the configure page. Let's start setting up. Okay. So he will go through all the checklists and make a, uh, just a quick look of the aircraft outside. Um, just going to check which runway is in use today. can wait that a little bit. Um, we're gonna go through, I'm gonna be using about 7,000 kilos of fuel and um, we will have a full airplane today. Okay, like so. So now I'm gonna put in the route. So the route will be uh, Lensa, that's the first waypoint. Ah, sorry. We have to put in our departure and uh, destination first. Like so. And uh, our flight number is SA495. As we don't know the runway yet. Um, so I'm going to go through with the uh, waypoints. So it's Lensa. 
and it's true. I'm sorry, I'm doing the wrong thing here. I'm gonna type in like so deleted that and then like so, that's better. And then true and pop a six hundred. So, there we have our <coughs> departure, <coughs> so I'm gonna find out, I'll be back in a second and I'm just gonna find out which runway that is in use. Okay, so now I've found out which runway that is in use and it um, it's unable to determine but because um, we only have two knots of wind so it's almost calm so I've determined I'm decided to use runway 19 so it's lens up three Bravo like so so here you have our departure route and the QNH for today or for this airport that we are at Tromsø it's 1009 like so so now I'm just waiting for the first officer to get outside to make his aircraft check we can enter the heading of the runway which is 186 it's not always uh, it doesn't always have to be I'm just out for the walk around if it's a run if, if it says it's runway 19 it doesn't mean that it's uh, actually 100% um, the runway heading is 190 as in this case it's uh, 8186 so, um, so I'm just enter 186 and our first real uh, waypoint is Lensa so I'm gonna enter 047 like so and uh, so it's so we're going to the perfect page and we have our weight of 68.8 and that will give us a reserve 2 cast index 1.5 no sorry One seven. we'll be fine flight level 3.7.0 and uh, just checking the winds oh, it's very calm today One, sorry. Okay, so so I'll get back to you in a sec, and uh, I will get more information put in the FMC. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the trans altitude, which is seven thousand, and I'm gonna look up the. Um, is a deviation, so I'm going to go to a website called uh, Sky Vector for the first thing I need to check. I'm going to check the elevation. It's just 32. So the ESA deviation for today will be 4 degrees, like so, and then execute. We'll be using 98.2 of thrust uh, because the runway is only 2,700 
oh sorry 2377 meters so we'll be using uh, no derated takeoff we'll be using flaps 5 trim 5.16 gonna put in the arrival so I'm also gonna go check uh, the arrival runway which is runway one zero so our last waypoint is this one so I'm gonna go check for Unless there and the transition is uh, India Sierra Delta. Okay, so now we're done with that. We can enter our runway or our uh, different speeds. So 150 is our V2 speed and 7000. Okay, so that's all sorted. Um, uh, we have only 4 degrees in uh, Svalbard, so it's pretty cold there, um, and only 5 knots of wind, so it's a lovely um, uh, afternoon in um, Svalbard. A little cold, but I think they are used to um, the cold weather. Hey, I'm back from the walk around. Everything's looking good. Okay, great. I'm gonna change the fuel a little bit to. Uh, we can actually go 6.2. So it's 68.8 instead. 68.8. So now you can see we will have about 2.4 tons left in our tanks when we land. So now I'm just waiting for the cabin crew to get our, uh, she will ask us if it's okay to uh, board. Hi captain, may we start boarding now? Yes. Great. Okay, so she will begin with the boarding. Um, so now we're going to speed up a little bit. Stand by. So, so he's going to go through all the uh, pre-flight main. So there's not much more for me to do here, so I'll get back to you guys when it's time for the pre-flight checklist. Okay, welcome back. So we're almost done and uh, we are preparing for the pre-flight checklist, which will be in about 30 seconds or so, maybe less. I'm ready for the checklist when you are. Ah, you're here now. Only two seconds. Okay. Check. Pre-flight checklist. Oxygen. Oxygen. Tested 100%. Instrument transfer and display switches. Normal auto. Window heat. On. Pressurization mode selector. Set. Flight instruments. Checked. Parking brake. Set. Engine start levers. Cut off. Cut off. Pre-flight checklist complete. Okay, check. So that was the uh, pre-flight. So now we're gonna speed up a little bit more. <coughs> to five. <coughs> I'm gonna start the APU. Just gonna wait for this guy to come in. Hello, Captain. The passenger boarding is complete. And when you're ready, I have a load seat for you. Okay, thank you. Have a safe flight. 
Okay, so I've just looked at the weather again, and we have changed the QNH to 1008. We have uh, 11 degrees outside, or now it changed to 12. So it's a little chilly, um, but it will be a great flight. Start the APU. Starting the APU. So now we're just waiting for the pressure to go down to about 3.7. And then this uh, light here will illuminate. As you can see here. APU on the bus. APU going on the bus. So now the aircraft is using his its own power uh, through a motor in the back. You can see the uh, you can see the exhaust pipe here. So now we can disconnect the external air. Cockpit to ground. You can disconnect external air and GPU now. So now we're just gonna wait. Okay, external air and power removed. You clear to start number two. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna speed up. Hi Captain, the cabin is ready to go. Okay, thank you. If you need anything, just let me know. Yes. Okay, so we're now ready. Gonna arm uh, the auto throttle. Let's see that all the doors are closed. Yes. Are you ready for the departure brief? I'm ready for the brief. Okay, we will be taking off from runway 19 using Lensa 2 Bravo departure. Uh, we will be using flaps 5. Uh, we will not be using a derated takeoff due to the uh, length of the runway. Uh, the weather on our um, departure looks great. Um, we have on our destination only 4 degrees and um, overcast at 1500 feet. Uh, we'll be using noise abatement 1, so it will be a standard uh, departure. Uh, any questions? No questions. Okay, departure brief complete. Before start procedures. I'm not actually sure what it doesn't work. Before start procedures. Okay, so it's not gonna go through the uh, before start procedures. So he's putting the, all the fuel pumps, and not the dose tube because we don't have any fuel in the tanks there. And uh, all the um, hydraulics. I'm ready for the checklist when you are. Before start checklist. Flight deck door. Closed and locked. Fuel. Set. Passenger signs. On. Windows. Locked. MCP. Speed 151, heading 186, altitude 7000. Takeoff speeds, CDU pre flight. Oh, he, he jumped there, okay. Completed. Rudder and aileron trim. Free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Completed. Anti collision light. On. Before start checklist, complete. Okay. Check. Check. Cabin crew arm slides. Okay, so we're now ready for pushback. 
Start sequence will be two, then one. Check. So we're gonna check. So we're gonna release the parking brake. Like so. Now we are commencing our pushback. Start engine number two. Starting, Starting number, two. number two. So you will see this engine will start to spin. If we look in the cockpit, we would like the weight to the end to get up to 25%. Due to I don't have an uh, pushback crew, I will have to stop in a few uh, seconds so I can make the turn. Uh, if I would have a real pushback team, it will have put me out on the yellow line there, uh, but not today. So, it's th uh, the second engine is almost stabilized. Start a cut out. Start engine number one. Starting number Starting one. Number one. So we're gonna stop here. Set the parking brake. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board today. This is your first seating. Please direct your attention to the cabin. So it's the same procedure here. Wait till it gets to 25% N2. Like so. gonna enter our departure time so it will be about 10.25 like so start a cut out Flaps 5. Check. Check. Take off flaps. Take off flaps. Set. Set. Now we're just waiting for to go, go through the before taxi. I'm ready for the checklist when you are. Before taxi checklist. Generators. On. Peruvi. On. anti ice Off. Isolation valves. Auto. Engine start switches. Continuous. Continuous. Recall. Checked. Water brake. Water brake. RTO. Engine start levers. Idle detent. Flight controls. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Before taxi checklist complete. Okay, so we're now ready. Clear on the left. Clear right. Okay. Check. I'm just gonna advance the throttles slowly. Hello. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Norwegian. Please may we have your attention while we demonstrate the safety features of this. I know this is not Norwegian, but um, I thought it might be great to hear a safe uh, security announcement anyway. Seated in the front row or the row next to the 
overway exits, please keep these areas clear at all times. Okay, so we're now on our way to uh, runway one night. Insert the flat metal tip into the buckle and tighten by pulling the strap. To unfasten, lift the flap and pull the ends apart. If there is a drop in cabin pressure, oxygen masks will do. As you can see, it's lovely uh, area here where the airport is. Going to show you here. So we will be taxing out here and then go and then make a uh, 180 turn. To open the overwing exit, pull the red handle down and leave the aircraft by sliding down the rear of the wing. To open the front and rear exit doors, pull the lever in the direction of the aircraft. Escape slides will deploy from the base of all front and rear exit doors. If a slide fails to deploy, pull the handle to inflate the slide. Leave the aircraft by folding your arms across your chest and jump onto the slide in a sitting position. Hello, flight deck. If there is a loss of electrical power, Great, thank you. Captain, the cabin, the cabin is places. secure. Okay, thank you. Life jacket is under your seat. In the unlikely event that the aircraft should land on water, remove the life jacket from its pouch and place the jacket over your head. So now we're gonna set the, and the by pulling the strap. Inflate the life jacket FSN and the on exit by Charlie the red tabs mode firmly check. On it. The life jacket can also be inflated by blowing into the red tubes on the front of the jacket. A light is provided for attracting attention. If a life jacket is worn by a small child, pull one tap only to inflate the jacket. Smoking is not permitted anywhere on this aircraft. Passengers are advised that smoke detectors are installed in all the toilets. The use of electronic devices containing transmitters and receivers is not permitted as they may interfere with aircraft systems. If your device has a flight mode, please activate it now. All other electronic equipment must be switched off when the fasten seatbelt sign is lit. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now preparing for takeoff. Please ensure that your train table is stowed. The full takeoff checklist flaps. Set stabilizer trim. 5.2 units. Before takeoff checklist complete. Checks for there's no other cabin crew. Take your seats. Runway entry procedures. Check. Actually, I'm going to change so we get a little bit uh, more ready to go engine power. Uh, check. So I'm going to do it when we get out here. So here and what limits? So, so it will be a hundred percent. We can use hundred percent. Uh, I've seen it before. So you can use uh, full engine takeoff uh, when there is uh, a storm ahead. So you need to go through it as fast as possible. So now we have a little shoulder runway. So now I'm going to use full power. So we're going to use all the runway. You can see here. So here's a nice pocket so we can turn. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in to the pocket. it will go great
Hopefully get onto the middle of the runway. Like so. Okay. I'm gonna slow down here. I'm gonna set the clock and we're ready to go. Take off. Check. So I'm gonna rev the engines to 40 and set the brakes. So get check. Here we go. Trust set. set. Check. ID notes. Check. Positive right. Gear up. Gear up. Gear up. L nav. L -nav. Select V nav. V nav. Flaps one. Flaps one. Flaps one. Gear up. Gear up. Lights out. Lights out. Set L, uh, flight level two zero zero. Set flight level two zero zero. Flaps up. Flaps up. Flaps up. Flight level two zero zero set set. Check. I'm ready for the checklist when you are. After takeoff checklist. Engine blades on packs. Auto. Landing gear up and off. Flaps. Up, no lights. After takeoff checklist complete. Now we're soon gonna make our left turn. Transition altitude, altimeter is 1013. Check. So we're gonna go, uh, slow down our um, our uh, altitude increase so we can gain a little speed. So we are at 250 knots. There we have the airport uh, to your left. Flight level one zero zero. Check.
set heading 048. Heading 048. So now I'm gonna connect the autopilot. Like so. So now the aircraft is flying by the information that we have uh, put into the FMC. It's a lovely view. As you can see here, we're going to make a left turn at Lensa. So we're at uh, 15,500 feet, or flight level. 155 Set flight level 370 Ah, uh, I need to. I've had it on hard mute. Set flight level 370. Now you can see it's changing. Flight level 370. Set. Thank you. Still a lovely view. Okay, so we're at flight level 200. So I'm gonna leave you there and um, we will do, I will show you when we are at our flight level, cruise level 370. So uh, see you in a bit. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we are at flight level 370. Um, you can see we have 23, 24 knots of 25, 26. Uh, we have a lot of uh, 27 knots of headwind. So it will affect our speed a little bit, but not too much. Um, so, um, so I will get back to you guys when we are about. 40 to 50 nautical miles uh, from our top of descent. You can just see where we are right now. We have a little bit to go. So I'll see you when it's time for the descent page uh, information to put in the FMC. So here we are at uh, flight level 370. Uh, we've been flying for about an hour. Uh, we only have uh, we can see here we only have 26 nautical miles to our uh, top of descent. So I'm going to show you how to um, 
configure uh, the FMC for the descent. So we have the trans level of uh, 5,000 feet. Uh, the ESA deviation we have four degrees at um, uh, at our destination, so it will be 11 degrees, and our Q and H is currently at our destination 1016, 1016, like so, and we're gonna check the winds, upper winds. At the flight level 300, 200, and 100. So we have 005, 39, and we have 359, uh, Then check for the lower. We have 229, and by 10. So So now we are fully ready for the descent. So we actually have land here. As you can see, I told you we should have about two tons of reserve fuel, and we, when we are landing at our de uh, destination, we have 2.0 tons of fuel left. So it looks awesome. I'm gonna go through the uh, arrival or approach brief. I'm gonna check the um, decision height and the decision height for category C is 1000. So, and actually we'll be using uh, NTIs because there are is there only 4 degrees um, temperature uh, in Svalbard, so, and the runway condition is dry, so I'm gonna go through that right now, just gonna enter the same here. So, okay. Set flight level 100. Level 100 set. set. Are you ready for the approach brief? I'm ready for the brief. Okay, we'll be arriving by a star. Um, we'll be flying ILS approach. Uh, the runway condition is dry. Anti ice will be required. Uh, we'll be using flaps 30 and uh, check, check. auto brake 2. Bleeds will be on and the decision height will be 1000 feet. Any questions? No questions. Approach brief complete. I'm ready for the checklist when you are. We're gonna wait with the uh, descent list a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, uh, we've just commenced our descent, uh, so uh, we'd appreciate it if you'd do what we do up here, which is uh, remain in your seat. Thank you. Okay, so we are on our way.
and uh, so you all know um, it's still overcast at the 1500 feet uh, we have three knots of wind and we're gonna risk runway one zero and still it's only four degrees Celsius so it's pretty chilly in uh, Svalbard So I will get back to you guys when it's time for the uh, descent checklist and um, closing up to flight level 100. Okay, so we just passed the flight level 200. Uh, I'm gonna go through the descent checklist. So I thought you might want to hear that. Descent checklist. Pressurization. Landing altitude. Five. Zero. Feet. Recall. Check. Water break. Level 2, landing data, VREF, 1, 4, 7, minimums, 1, 0, 0, 0, feet. Approach briefing completed. Descent checklist complete. Check. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and look at the chart and Check. see how, how long the runway is. And hopefully I've set the... Uh, Flaps and uh, auto brake to the right position. Um, go to see it on the map here. Okay, so I'm checking out the um, the runway that we're gonna land on. So it's 2,469 meters. So we have plenty of room to land. So it won't be an issue. So we can use uh, flaps 30 and uh, auto brake too. So actually I'm going to change to uh, auto brake uh, level 3 um, so there won't be any issues, uh, it, it shouldn't be any I uh, issues um, with uh, auto brake too but uh, just for safety I'm going to use level 3. As you can see it's uh, overcast as I told you before we took off from, um, from Tromsø. So now I'm going to set the ILS frequency on 110, one oh, wrong, 110.30. One one like so. Engine and the ice on. Set engine anti ice on. Maybe not. I'm gonna do it. Set the wing anti ice on also. Uh, I just found out that we're gonna have the tower uh, ready for uh, when we are arriving. So 
there will be a little bit of A to C, so that's great. Set flight level six zero. Flight level six zero set. set. So now I'm going to uh, look at the um, arrival QNH. So the arrival QNH is 1016. So I'm going to put it in here. So you can see here 1016. So that's on standby. So it says drag required, so I'm going to use a little bit of speed brake. You can see it here. A little bit of speed brake. So we can uh, reduce our speed. So we can maintain. 250 knots. So you can see here we're going to do a right turn. Set altitude 3000. Thousand set flight level one zero zero. Check. So now I can turn off the speaker. Cabin crew, prepare for landing. I'm going to put in the uh, tower frequency. Actually, we're going to use a little bit more spirit because we have a uh, tailwind. So, it's, so you can see we're holding 260 knots.
and gentlemen, we'll be arriving at our destination shortly. If you're making a connecting flight, please see the customer service agent meeting this flight or the video monitors inside the terminal for connecting gate information. For your continued safety, flight attendants will now walk through the cabin to secure it for landing. We'll collect any off-service items, newspapers and any other items that you wish to discard or move after taking off the aircraft with you. Also, in preparation for landing, please turn off all electronic devices, stow these devices within all other carry-on items. Please use caution when opening the overhead bin as items may have shifted during our flight. Please stow your tray tables and return your things to the upright position and check the security of the seat. So now I'm gonna press the Thank Vivo lock. So it's on standby so we can prepare ourselves for the alignment of the runway. Deceleration point. Transition level. Altimeters one zero one six. Altimeters one zero one six. Okay, so now we're gonna slow down. So when we are uh, established um, on the Volok for the runway, I will contact the yeah. towers. So if the um, so if it's right, we will be able to see the runway below 1,500 feet. Thousand to go. Check. Set altitude 1,500. Altitude 3,300. Three, set. Set. So you can see we're slowing down now. So now we are uh, established on the localizer, so I can press approach, and now I can contact the tower. See if the localizer is alive. alive. Check. It's 
Svalbard Tower, good afternoon. Uh, Scandinavian 495, uh, localizer for runway 10. Scandinavian 495, good afternoon. Winds calm, runway 10, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 10, Scandinavian 495. Flaps 1. Flaps 1, flaps 1. Okay, so we got our landing here. Take your seats. Flaps two. Flaps two. Flaps two. We're gonna slow down. Six five. Approach checklist. Altimeters. One. One. Zero. Zero. One. One. Six. Six. Set. Approach checklist complete. Thousand to go. Flaps five. Flaps five. Gear down. Gear down. Gear down. Landing checklist. Engine start switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down. Standing by for the flaps. Flaps 10. Flaps 10. Flaps 10. So we should soon be able to see the runway. Ah, oh, there we go. Flaps 25. Max flap speed. Flaps 15. Flaps 15. So we're gonna slow down to 1, 5, 4. Flaps 25. Flaps 25. 1,000 minimums. Landing. Check. Flaps 30. Flaps 30. Flaps 30. Green light. Landing checklist complete. Flaps 2. Check. Flaps 30. Flaps 30. 500 feet. Landing cleared. Engine start switches. Continuous. Flaps 30, green light, landing checklist complete. Flaps 2. Flaps 30. Flaps 30. Flaps 30, green light, landing checklist complete. Manual braking. Check. Check. Okay, so there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the conclusion of our flight. Please remind me of the seatbelt sign and the aircraft. Scandinavian 495, welcome to Svalbard. Taxi to parking in Svalbard. Taxi to parking of your own choice and thank you, Scandinavian 495.
APU is online. Check. So where are we? Where should we park the airplane? I think I'm gonna go for this side over here. See the line? I'm gonna make a pretty good turn here. Select taxi light off. APU on the bus. APU going on the bus. Cabin crew disarm slides. Okay, so we are at our parking. Ready for shutdown. I'm just gonna connect the um, ground power. Like so. so now we shut down. Yes! Captain, all flights are disarmed. Okay, thank you. Shut down checklist. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we only have a few things to do. So we're gonna go through the uh, shutdown checklist. Fuel pumps. Fuel pumps. Off. Parope. Parope. Off. Hydraulic panel. Hydraulic panel. Set. Flaps. Flaps. Up. Parking brake. Parking brake. Set. Engine start, Engine start levers. levers. Cut off. Cut off. Weather radar. Weather radar. Off. Shut down Shut checklist, checklist complete. Okay, so that was the um, shutdown checklist. So we're gonna go through with the uh, uh, securing. Secure the aircraft, please. Stand by. Stand by. He's turning off the IRSs and the window heat. And uh, I'm ready for the checklist the when checklist you are. When you are. Securing aircraft checklist. IRSs, IRSs off. off. Emergency, Emergency exit, exit lights, lights. Off. 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 Window heat off. off. Packs, Packs. Off. 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 Securing, Securing aircraft, aircraft checklist, checklist complete. complete. So that's all, folks. I'm just going to turn off the ground power. Then the battery switch, and you can see it's all shut down now. Um, I would like to say thank you for following me on this flight, and if you'd like me to do a requested flight, just leave a comment below, and I will be happy to uh, make that flight for you. So, um, have a great day, till we see again next time. Thank you, bye-bye.